Hi, Helpfuls. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel today. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and healthy during this time. Today, I have an Aldi haul that is for our, our prepper pantry today. And um, I decided to do it kind of at the last minute. But I know I haven't been to the grocery store in a minute now. Although the video I probably just uploaded not too long ago may seem like I just went, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Um, but anyway, um, welcome to the channel. My name is Hope and I do all different types of videos like um, celebrating parties and little events at home and um, some large events in the past. Um, DIYs, uh, couponing. Uh, home decor, all those different things that I like to do on my channel. So right now, I'm am I am obsessed. I think I got a little bit better this week, y'all. <laughs> I had to take a break from couponing and prepping. With prepping, getting ready for um, just whatever may come up, and having a stockpile for my family. So today, I did an Instacart order, and um, it was pouring raining when she came. Um, I am an Instacart shopper, ship shopper, door dasher, all that stuff. <laughs> Not right now though, but um, Postmates, everything. So I can, I understand and I sympathize with her, but I wish she would have waited because it was pouring so hard. I mean, like you can't, it's one of those drenching, it was thunder and lightning, drenching rains to where you were going to get wet regardless. Um, I wish she would have waited because some of my boxes are like wet and I know that we are on demand in our area, so she didn't have another order unless she had something else to do after that. But um, I probably will still up her tip because she was soaking wet. But my canned goods, uh, some of them I had to sit here and it probably took me 35 minutes to wipe everything um, to make sure it was dry. I just wipe it off and make sure it was dry. And then I'm going to have to let it sit here and make sure it's dry again because I don't want any rust on the cans. So you guys have been sending me so many wonderful um, ideas and tips. Thanks so much. Some of them I have to go back and I have to read them again. And just to implement all of them, um, like freezing my rice, um, of course, my storage. I'm getting ready to start on that next because I'm like a big stickler with... Um, I like to have my stuff organized and have it right before I keep moving on. That's just how I am for everything, with my planners, everything. Um, so next, I want to probably maybe, shelves are not that important, but I probably will get some different shelves. And then I'm, of course, first going to get some um, better storage containers. So you all, guys always um, already have said, or somebody has said, Hope, um, I see you have your dates on your cans. Make sure, try to write what this can is because the label can come off. I absolutely know why now. <laughs> of course, it can come off because it. my cans got wet today, y'all. And um, I was so afraid that the label was going to come off today. Um, off a lot of them, like this chunk tuna is still wet. Um that looks like it might have a little bit of wetness, but my boxes are wet and I'm gonna have to repackage, um, repackage them. Really can't see it right now, but yeah, I'm gonna have to repackage it. And then here they got wet, so I'm gonna have to repackage it. They're drying off. I'm not really worried about this. This is the only one I didn't wipe off because I can just pop these um, off. But y'all, let me share with you what I picked up this go round for the Prepper um, Pantry Haul. Um, I wanted to share with you these two books that I have. Um, I was watching another channel and she recommended this book a year without, without the grocery store. I hope that never happens, but a year without the grocery store. I have read a couple um, things in here. I just got them yesterday. And I make sure I put the link down below. Um, and I try to caption the channel that I saw this on. She had, she was storing like her rice, so many other things and buckets and in mylar bags. And I may get to that point. I want to have a six month to a year stockpile. Um, that will make uh, me happy. <laughs> Probably make my husband happy too. A year um, make me happy. So if I do that. So I saw this wonderful book right here, The Prepper's Pantry. You know how they have recommended stuff once you click on something else. 
and I have started reading this book and I love this book. A lot of you also, since I'm looking at the canning stuff, have recommended or said, Hope, do you want, and I have mentioned it in other videos, so I'll make sure I link that playlist because it's several of my prepper um, pantry that I have been stockpiling over the last couple of weeks and months. And so you can watch those videos, been watch those if you want to. But I mentioned different things in different ones. And so I mentioned in one that I want to learn how to can. At first I was like, mm-mm. But it's going to be a process. It's going to take time. Um, I think I will today sit and look at like some YouTube videos. I looked at some of them, um, but really look at an introductional one. And then I've written down some books and put them in my Amazon shopping cart I want to buy. And I did see some canning stuff at my local Walmart. So hopefully they'll be there tomorrow when I look at the storage stuff too. And um, yeah, that's something that I want to do and learn how to do. But I know it's a learning curve and I'm not rushing to do it. Um, I do have somewhat of a timeline of when I want to be done with my prepper, prepping. But it's going to be a working pre um, pantry. So I actually Googled when's the first day of fall and i know of course that don't mean all doom and gloom on that day or whatever it's september 22nd i believe but i just want to have my ducks in a row and i've been doing this for a couple weeks now so i should be good um i have opted for my kids and i timestamp this I opted for my kids to stay home our county gave us different options they may go to online only but i opted for all my kids to stay home um, even my oldest, he's 21, he's in college, and he will be doing his classes online too because I'm not put doing all of that and then have to come back and get them because I know that's going to happen. That's exactly what's going to happen. Um, so that's what I opted to do. So we'll be prepared for anything. All right, y'all. I got some bread, and I meant to get more than one loaf. Usually I get four at a time, but I, I don't know what I did. I got sidetracked. I got two other shells and cheese. I may have to repackage this too as well um, because it got wet. I did get some coffee. I know some people said get some coffee and put it in your stock pile. Um, we're not big coffee drinkers, so that's why I only just got these two today. And see, yeah, it's wet. Um, I got some stuffing. I don't think this really, yeah, it did get wet a little bit. So I'm gonna have to repackage a lot of this stuff. Okay, y'all, two of the chicken stuffing mix. I got two of the onion soup mix. I got two of the ch chewy fudge. This has to be repackaged. I did see someone's tip about I have kids. I do want to go to Costco or Sam's or BJ's, whichever membership I choose to go. They I choose to go that day. Warehouse store I choose to go to that day. Um, and get some snacks for them, but I have to put it up and tell them don't touch it because they will touch it. Um, cake mixes is definitely was on my list. They did not have that today. Um, sometimes when I do the prepping, I want to concentrate on certain things. And today I wanted to concentrate on canned goods. Maybe when I go look at the storage stuff tomorrow, I'll pick up some cake mix and stuff like that. So thanks for that tip and um, reminder that I have. I thought I had two of these of the broth um beef chicken broth i don't see it y'all oh i have to show you my target haul that i ordered y'all i got four of the jiffy corn corn mix corn mix muffin um some noodles my boys go through this so they're already working this down in the pantry some chicken broth two of those two of the olives i got two of the tropical fruit and then I got this cheese melt, the Clancy's cheese melt. Um, I was watching someone and they said that this was really good to have because you may not be able to get to the store to get, um, I know this is not the healthiest, some fresh cheese, some grated cheese or a block cheese or the cheese at the deli. And this is something that you can melt and put on something and you have some cheese. So I picked up two of these and I have to repackage it. Um, some cut green beans. I got four. Aldi has a limit of four king goods. I was able to get five of the chunk tuna today. I didn't push it to it said max. So I do have some and then next time I get some more. I got some extra virgin olive oil. I thought I'd pick up some oil. 
I have some canola oil. I picked up some vegetable oil the other day, two of those. I have four of the French style green beans, one Concord jelly, four of the whole new potatoes, the pinto beans, four cans of that. Um, the kidney beans, I got four of the light red, four of the um, wild Alaskan pink salmon, two bags of the white rice. I have two things of the iodized salt. I want to make sure that that is dry. I just hope that is, that don't get inside. That's going to be a mess. But then I can take it out and put it in a container. So I may do that just in case it won't clump up. Four of the black beans. I have four of the crushed tomatoes. I did order four of the tomato paste, but they were out of that. I got some cumin. I should have got two of these. I thought I got some black pepper, but I didn't. I'll just get some from Walmart. Two of the chili powder. One of the parsley, one onion powder, one garlic powder, two of the cream of mushroom, two of the cream of chicken. I have more in my pantry that I've been picking up. Two of the pinto organic. And I think I only got, oh, oh I won't pay any attention, y'all. Okay. So I got the regular pinto and the organic, which is fine um, because I didn't realize they were both pinto beans. <laughs> But it's all right. These are 99 cents. They're actually Instacart prices are a little bit more. So they're probably like 79 cents in store or 89 cents. And these are like 55, 45 cents or something like that in the store. Um, four other diced tomatoes. They don't have a lot of choices online like they do in the store because they have the basil and the fiery roasted and probably another one. I got two of the 80-20 and I asked for... One chicken tenderloin and one chicken breast, but she gave me two chicken tenderloin um, boneless, skinless chicken breasts because they were all out. I got one thing of onions, and I think that's it, y'all, but let me show you what I got from Target. Hey, y'all, so I had this stuff here for probably over a week because um, I wanted to haul it and share with you all, but um, I'm going to move it. So I ordered this from, who else I got some food? Oh, no, that's styrofoam. I got ordered this from Target.com um, because the non-fat dry milk was cheaper. Did I put this in another haul? I don't remember. I don't remember, y'all. But if I did, forgive me. It was cheaper at Target. And then I couldn't just order this and this egg replacer. So I saw this on another channel and I thought this was super neat. And I didn't see this at Walmart. So I went on Amazon or I Googled it or something. And I saw that Target had it. But now, I don't know if it's always been like that. Your order has to be $35 or more in order to ship at Target. So I did pick up two of these. I don't remember the price, y'all. I want to say about $3 for $2 or $3. Um, it is equivalent to 34 eggs. So it's like a dry egg. Then I got two of the non-fat dry milk. I did pick up some shelf-stable milk from Dollar Tree. I didn't share that with you guys. So what I would do, what I'm going to do is do an updated prepper pantry quick overview because <laughs> this has grown since the first time I did it. And then I'm going to do my couponing as well. But it'll be really quick. It won't be like me going over talking, running my mouth over everything. So I got two of these. I got one yellow cornmeal and then some of this stuff I just had to bulk it up. And then I got two of the plain breadcrumbs. This was my first experience with Target.com. I was a little disappointed, but it wasn't um, them. It was probably shipping because one of my breadcrumbs and I waited too late to report it. Maybe not. It was already open because it was busted in the um, thing. But that was probably shipping. Um, but you can go on the app and you can take a picture of it and then JJ threw the box away when all the stuff was in the box. But I just said, don't worry about it. Um, so two of the Italian style breadcrumbs, two plain breadcrumbs, and then one of the swan, two of the swans down cake flour. Um, hopefully it don't get that bad where we can't get to the grocery store and make a cake or whatever. But my grandma used to cook with this all the time growing up 
And um, so I just had to fill it up and I always wanted to get this too. I just had to fill up my cart. So I got two of these from Target.com. And that's it for my little haul from Target. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, I do have a blog post related to this and there is a playlist. So I will put that down below. I am working on like a um, prepper pantry PDF checklist that I can give you all. I just have to finalize it. I already have everything in there. I just have to line it up and send it out and all that stuff. And I just have it. And I just remember when I was getting ready to film. But anyway, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.